The House Select Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol is set to hold its final hearing tomorrow after postponing it due to Hurricane Ian. Committee members tease substantial footage and significant witness testimony, saying it would be more sweeping than past hearings and will tell the story about a key element of former President Trump's plot to overturn the 2020 election. ABC News investigative producer Catherine Falders joining me now live along with ABC News contributor and former federal prosecutor Con Nowaday for more. So Catherine, let's start with you. The committee has interviewed more witnesses since their last hearings, including Jenny Thomas, that conservative activist, also wife of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. Let's talk about how she fits into this investigation. Yes, yeah, so Ginny Thomas was significant because she was exchanging text messages with the former chief of staff, Mark Meadows. Uh, emails have also been revealed of Ginny Thomas communicating with, with state officials in various different states to get them to overturn the election. Now, it's interesting because we are likely uh, to not see Ginny Thomas on video uh, tomorrow during the hearing. Her interview with the committee was not video recorded, uh, so the committee investigators can use quotes from that, for Example. So we might hear more uh, about her role there. Her lawyer says she answered all the committee's questions, uh, but members of the committee who I've spoken to said that she still made clear, Kira, that she believes that the election, that the 2020 election was stolen. And she said that during her interview. So, Con, how concerning is it for the wife of a Supreme Court justice to be lobbying the White House chief of staff to challenge the results of an election? Uh, it's very concerning, um, merely from the fact that of who her husband is and that her husband may potentially at some point have to rule on matters relating to uh, election processes. Um, so, I mean, as a matter of fact, uh, there is an appeal on a, a pending before Justice Thomas relating to the Mar-a-Lago search where uh, Former President Trump is asking the Supreme Court to intervene uh, in the 11th Circuit's decision uh, in that case. So uh, it is concerning. So then, Con, if any case stemming from this investigation find its way to the Supreme Court, should Clarence Thomas just recuse himself? Uh, I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but you can't help but think that there is an appearance of a conflict. So it is disturbing something that he should consider as a justice of the supreme court and frankly even though this appeal is before him right now my bet is in all likelihood it'll get referred to the entire supreme court so catherine why hold this hearing now with the midterms just under a month away i mean could the committee be planning an october surprise here well, look, I think there's definitely the political element of this in the back of their minds as they've been scheduling this. Of course, it was delayed, as you mentioned, due to the hurricane. Uh, but look, there's still questions, Kira, that we're waiting on answers to, one of those being whether the committee, for example, issues a subpoena to former President Trump, whether they invite him to come publicly uh, to an open hearing. Uh, that's still something that we're waiting on as well. And, and look, this isn't the last thing that we're going to see. There's also uh, likely going to be a report that this committee uh, issues that they've been writing uh, when that comes out is still to be determined one of the members of the committee said we probably won't see that until November so really right up until the midterms so Khan, do you expect the committee to make a formal formal criminal referral to the Justice Department and if so what would that look like and do you expect that that would lead to the Attorney General actually filing criminal charges against the former president and or his inner circle uh, to the first question whether they'll make a criminal referral uh, that's up to the committee and it sounds like as it's been reported that the committee wants to be unanimous about that and all a referral would be would be uh, a, a simple document that says hey uh, we'd like you to look at this we think a crime has been committed and whether you have a referral or not DOJ is going to do what it's going to do anyway so uh, already we know that DOJ is looking at the fake electors part of the scheme that uh, the committee had highlighted. And similarly, Georgia, the state of Georgia is already looking at uh, the uh, Georgia election interference part of the scheme that the committee has already kind of told the American public about. All right, Con, Catherine, thanks so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.